Welcome back to the Beely Mars channel, everybody. I'm excited today. You know I usually do Universal Yums. Today I'm not doing the whole box. I'm just looking at some of the cookies they gave me from here. So since it was from different parts of the world, we're going to try some of them out. Um, I have a couple different kinds. Yes, some of them are open because I share my snacks. So I already shared some of these with people. Like this one. It's already open, but see so we're gonna try these one two three four five different types of cookies so let's see what we have we have um, the first one's gonna be a pretzel cookie with caramel and almond flavor or a filling this is from Japan so open it up individually they're packed. They have a couple of stuff in them. Let's see what they look like. Pretzel cookies with almond, caramel almond filling. Okay. So it's like a little sandwich. And there's a filling in the middle. Let's take that out. Okay. Okay, pretzel but not too salty, which is good because that's why I don't like pretzels. Oh wow. What the heck? That's so good. It tastes the caramel. Mmm. It's sweet. Um. Oh my goodness. I don't know how to describe this. This is really good. So the cream is caramel like tasting. Um. The almond, it must be made of almond. But it's not very nutty, texture-wise. Mmm. Hey, yo, that was really good. Wow. I didn't think I was going to like this because of pretzels. But that's getting a 10. That's so good. It's perfectly sweet. It's not too sweet. It's not like, you know, biting into a fudge bar or anything like that. But it's almost like a, a smooth, maybe coffee, maybe caramel, kind of like that feeling to it. It's so good. Man. All right, now I'm excited. Let's move on. Let's see what's next. This one here. This is the uh, gingerbread with natural black currant flavored icing. Look at that. It's in a heart shape. So I hope I love it. Mmm, I do like the black currant. Mmm, it's soft. It's sweet. The flavor from the gingerbread, but you know what I like about this? Ooh, Ooh that black currant works really good. Um. Gingerbread tends to be really dry. And um this is kind of moist. It's um soft. I mean you can't tell. I mean I can push on it. So it's kind of soft, but it's not dry. And that flavor is so good. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think I was gonna like these two. I really didn't. I give this one a 10 too. I actually have no problem with it. It's perfectly aromatic. The flavors are blended really good. Um, it's sweet. The gingerbread is nice. The texture is good. The black currant icing, super good. Um, I'm glad I didn't give too many of those away because I'm definitely going to eat some of those. That's really good. Man, and these are from Poland. Ah, should have known. Poland likes their gingerbread. Um, let's see, which one do I want to do next? Okay. These. I guess it's the same on both sides. Yeah, I think like that. Alright. So these are cookies with Hokkaido melon in them. So these are from Japan. Um, have you heard of Hokkaido 
melons. These melons can run $200 or more. I actually, there's a YouTuber that I watch. His name is Mikey Chen. His uh, channel's uh, Strictly Dumpling. And he travels. And I actually watched him. He bought one of these melons for $150. And um, the, the reason they're so expensive is because they have to meet certain qualifications. They have to be perfectly round with no defects and... Um, it has to have a, a certain amount of uh, sugar content in it as well. So that's what makes the Hokkaido melon so pricey. But guess what? I have to pay that much for it. It's in here. Can you see the filling? That's a Hokkaido melon filling. So let's go on and get into this little container. I'll show you what it looks like. Look at that. Smells like melon. Very strong. Here's what the middle looks like because I kind of got to them. So since I already got these, I'm just going to let you know. These are the bomb.com. And I'm going to let you know this too. I don't like melon. I don't like melon, cantaloupe, honeydew. I'm not really even that big on watermelon. Give me a little piece of watermelon. Three or four bites. I like it. And I'm good. I'm done. Let's move on. No more watermelon. But, um... Melons, I don't like. So I really went into this thinking this is going to be disgusting. But, um, but it's so good. It's sweet. It does taste like melon. It does. But not like, it tastes like melon bread. If you've ever had melon bread from like Japan. Have you? Have you? Have you had melon bread? Oh. Anyways, you got to try this. Um, it tastes amazing. Um, I'm going to give this a 13 out of 10 because I have words can't describe. And plus, I didn't have to pay $150 for this melon. So that's a, a perk as well. Um, no, seriously, if you ever get a chance to try these, if you ever see these anywhere or see like um, the... The... Um, Hokkaido melon. Try it. I definitely recommend it. Look, you can see the melon there too. I didn't realize that. I highly recommend it. Try it. Like I said, that's got a high rating. So, actually I'm a little worried because everything's been so good. And I'm moving down to my last two. Now, I'm going to save it. I'm saving that for last. Mm, we gonna go into that anyways so this next one I have this is a chocolate biscuit cookie this is from Uruguay Uruguay that's really cool I've never um, had anything from there um, it looks like like a moon pie almost but it doesn't have um marshmallow no marshmallow look at that it's got biscuits in it, so it's crunchy. You see that crunch? Look at that. Pretty cool. Mmm, very chocolatey. You hear a crunch? Mmm. Whoa. Whoa! What? What? You guys, Oreo's out. Oreo, you're fired. You're done. This cream tastes like Oreo cream, but like gourmet Oreo cream. Like, they took the Oreo cream to a whole nother level. And it's nice, it's sweet, it's that kind of same texture of it, but... The, the crispiness from the crackers, the chocolate, the chocolate. I mean, everything on this is really good. I kid you not. I mean, if you like Oreos, oh, you got to go out and find this. I don't know where they would sell this. I know Universal Yums usually gets the stuff from the country that they're sending it from. But come on, there's like Amazon. It's just got to be like, it's got to be someone who has these for sale. You guys have to try this. Remember this name um, because I don't know how to pronounce it. But, oh my goodness. Oh, chocolate coated biscuit with cream filling. 
Dude. Dude. This is so good. I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't really go and say, I, I don't know how to describe it. You guys have got to try this. See, that's why I like Universal Yum. It's because I'm trying new things. And yes, there's some things that I haven't liked. There's like some black truffles. You know, I don't do mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms. But, oh, my goodness. Those are all good. And now I'm moving on to my favorite cookie here. This is the Polverone, which you've heard me talk about on this channel quite a lot. It's my favorite. On my second Universal Yums box. No, it wasn't our second. It wasn't our second. But it was the one from the Philippines. And um, it came with the um, Polvaron, which is from the Philippines. But remember, the Philippines have a big Spanish um, influence on them. So um, this one is ube flavored, Philippine shortbread. I've actually made Polvaron before. After I tried this exact one, the same flavor, same Goldie, Goldilocks brand. Now, they have a website, and you can go on there and buy them, because trust me, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to buy me some, because I don't really want to make it. It's not. It's a little tedious, because you have to, like, toast the flour, and it just, you know, mix it, and then you have to put them into, you have to mold them. But um, I made a cookies and cream one, and it was amazing. You ever had something, and you can't keep it to yourself? You have to share it. I made a couple batches and I shared it with everyone I could think of that I knew. And they loved it. But some people don't like it because of the texture. It's very crumbly. It's kind of sandy. Like sand. Like it, it crumbles like, you know, like shortbread. But like it's crumbling. So let's open this up. And we'll take a closer look at this ube. Polvaron, look at that. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna break it. Okay. Yeah, let me put this. Let me put this here because it's crumbly as mess, man. All right, ready? Look at that. Oh, see that? So, that lets you know. Mm. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I was just kind of trying to show you. I didn't mean to gross anybody out. Um, you can taste, like, the butter. And it's just sweet. But it's not, like, woo, like, you know, like, sweet, like, overpowering sweet. It's a subtle sweet because there's, you know, there is sugar in here. I don't know if you can see it, the crystals on my fingers, but there's sugar. And it just crumbles. It just it just breaks. It just breaks in peace. Mmm. I'm not gonna eat all that. I need to savor that. Because I need to buy more by myself. Mmm. I love pulverome. Ah! Mmm. 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 You guys, these cookies were all amazing. We've had cookies from the Philippines, Uruguay, Japan, and Poland. Wow. All these different countries and all great cookies. Um, different take um, and spin, different flavors, different fillings, different, you know, all the way around. I mean, no cookie was like the same. I didn't have two gingerbreads. I didn't have two melons. I didn't have like two sesame seeds. You know, they're all very different. But they were all so good. I can't pick. Obviously, I love the Polverone. That's the whole reason why we stay doing Universal Yums. Because I had that Polverone, and it changed my life. And I'm not, being, I'm not being dramatic or anything like that. This changed my life. It really did. Um, so, the Philippines, the... Oh, the melon cookie is so good, too. And I told you, I don't like melon. And I don't like the pretzels. But pretzels, those, those aren't too bad. Those are really good. The gingerbread, I'm not big on gingerbread, but this one was soft and not dry, and it tasted great with the black currant. And then this this cookie here just knocked Oreo, yeah, I think that's like America's number one cookie, Oreos, out of the park. I mean, I don't even want to see an Oreo anymore. Don't show me an Oreo. 
I'm done, you guys. I enjoyed this, and I hope you did too. Go in the comment section. Let me know. Have you tried any of these cookies? Or maybe you've tried cookies from a different country. What were they? How did they taste? And how did you like them? Let me know. I take recommendations. I'll try some things. So, thank you guys. Toodles!